5th of January, Saturday morning, 2018, or 2019, excuse me, 2019. And take a look at Tucson, Arizona. Does that look like it's just, oh, it's just overcast. Really? Overcast with what? That's the question. Take a look at that line. Even though we're completely inundated with this powder in the air, because, yeah, it is powder. Take a look at that. And we, it wasn't enough. Well, <laughs> look at there. So here you go, guys. Anyone that's not so educated in this, what happens is the uh, after they spray this thousands of pounds of particulates, the heavier particulates will fall first. So you'll see a little bit of falling, and now it's starting to spread out. So nice, isn't that? Toxic waste, environmental hazard, put into our air so that all of us can breathe it. All this stuff over here, it's this same thing here, but a little bit of time later. Get it? So, toxic waste is in the air, Tucson, Arizona. Quite a bit of it, actually. And since this uh, video doesn't get uploaded because the probation department has to approve it first, and I ne still need them to do the last four or five videos I've done, so I'm going to do a week-long interludes. So this will be the beginning of it. Yes, sirree. Toxic waste. We got another plane working it directly over the Catalina or the uh, Santa Catalina mountain range. There he is, right there. I don't know how well it's picking up for you. I can't even see my screen, but all right. We got lots of waste here. Make sure to get Davis Monthan. Davis Monthan be right over here, right under that. No, generally it is not Davis Monthan that's sending these guys up. Not that I'm familiar with, no. They come from uh, Evergreen Air Base or somewhere else. I don't claim to know it all, but I know a few things. Is I got enough intelligence to know when I'm being toxically sprayed. Pretty easy to figure this out. My dad was a pilot for a while when he was younger. He knows all about it, but other family members, nothing. They're just durr, durr, durr. Anyway, dead in the head. Nothing I can do to help them, but I can help the city of Tucson by informing them and getting more and more people to wake up. Or as John Knox will say, be curious. Moving on to the next day, Chris Haskell. A little bit later the same day, still being the 5th of January. Look at this. That's right over David Smontman. <laughs> Completely overcast. I wish they'd just give us the, uh, you know, week schedule in advance. Know when to not to, not to breathe. There we go. Couple hours later. Look at this. They are just working it hard. Oh, and no lack of a. Need more, need more. Must be a double sun today or something, you think? Wow. Just filling in all the spots. And on to the next day, or maybe a little later. And. Just for the update here, the Harper A for Tucson is on. You can see the obvious lines. I'm turning right here. No? No. Okay, and just wanted to show you that. Harper Ray is on and working. Good thing. Because we anyone watching my videos to check their system over here and they go, okay, it's good. It's working good over here. Alrighty then. Yes, sir, Ray. We got it going on. Have a good day. On to our next day. I'll, I'll edit it later. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. And no, oh, that was close.
<laughs> and he's going to be upset. Look at that. I wonder if that's illegal. You know, impersonating a police officer. That's fucking funny. Oh, my Lord. Flaming pig on the side. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Here we go. What do you think, Ginger? Yeah, she said it's pretty toxic. So there we are. Completely overcast. Yeah, it must be clouds. That's it. <laughs> Harper Ray is still on. Take a look at that. Wow. Look at that. Oh, my.